it's all working, you're uh, awake, and we can get started with uh, a lot of figures uh, about the health industry in uh, Norway and the Nordics. Uh, I'm going pretty fast through a lot of uh, slides, so, um, and we'll try to, um, to give room for a couple of questions at the end if, you're, uh, if you have some. Um, uh, and I guess I should try to maintain some kind of position here in terms of uh, filming as well. But, um, well, what I'm going through is uh, first looking at the health industry value chain, how it looks, uh, the way we have analyzed it in a report that we have uh, produced um, for the second time this, uh, this uh, year. And um, then have a look at the Norwegian health industry and at, at the end, the Nordic uh, health industry. So the question will be, is uh, this a healthy industry of the future for, uh, for, Nor for, the, for, for Norway and the, and the Nordic countries? Um, and we shall uh, see some figures that can prove uh, or test this uh, hypothesis uh, that we can actually live from uh, the health industry in the future. Um, what we have done is to try to map the, the whole health sector. Um, um, with uh, Norway as a, uh, as, a, as a baseline for, for the analysis, with, with the whole system, the whole uh, system from research to, to, uh, to treatment out in the hospitals and uh, primary care throughout uh, the value chain with the development and production of, uh, of uh, pharmaceuticals and medical equipment, etc., and distribution. So this is the, the whole value chain and the whole health business, um, um, or the whole health sector, both public and private. Then we have the health business, which is the private business of the health sector, which is the, uh, the, uh, the, the part uh, below the, the line in the middle. And then we have um, uh, the uh, health industry, which is uh, uh, these two that I'm coming back to. So. Uh, the Norwegian health business, uh, what can we tell about it in, uh, based on, on figures from, uh, from, from, from last year, 2016? Uh, we can see high growth in all parts of the private health business sector. R&D spending is increasing with 25%, up to uh, 2.25 billion Norwegian kroner. Um, the export has reached um, uh, more than 21 billion Norwegian kroner. Um, we see a strong growth in innovation, um, but um, an issue with, um, uh, with uh, lack of, uh, of uh, risk capital. Large potential for society-wide gains uh, from innovation in the private uh, health business, um, but this requires better cooperation be between public and private. <coughs> Um, so, what's the size of this um, in economic terms? Uh, the health business, um, that is all private business and industry, had a turnover of 123 billion Norwegian kroner uh, last year. No, in 2015, which is the, the last recordable uh, figures. <coughs> um, this is a pretty large part of the Norwegian economy already. Um, the health industry uh, constitutes a large part of this, but still, uh, as we see, uh, the treatment part, which is um, a private health uh, treatment, is, is uh, a big part of it as well, getting back to this a little while. Um, the growth is, uh, is uh, increasing um, with um, the total health business uh, uh, increasing at the rate of 12% um, in 2016, um, slowing down a little bit uh, according to prognosis for, for 2017. But we see that uh, there has been an increasing growth uh, while the operating mar margin has been fairly stable. Uh, for the last years. Um, the um, health industry, uh, as I mentioned, is part of the health sector. 
and part of the health business. And so the, um, the development and production part of the health business is what we have defined of, as the health industry with five subsectors, pharma, diagnosis, medtech, health ICT, and specialized subcontractors. So that's what we define as the health industry. <clears throat> uh, it had a turnover of 52 billion Norwegian kroner, as we saw uh, in 2015, and it employs 13,000 people in Norway. Um, and um, it has a value-added con contribution to the Norwegian economy of 17 billion Norwegian kroner, up 61% from 2005. So uh, this is an industry that is developing quite, uh, quite fast, and uh, it's already uh, a substantial force in the Norwegian economy. Of course, not at the level of the um, oil and gas uh, <laughs> industry, uh, but, um, but it's increasing. Um, if we look at uh, the five different subsectors that constitute the, the health industry, we can see that um, uh, pharma and diagnostics constitute the, the largest parts of the, of, of the industry, two thirds. Um, but the strongest growth we find in health ICT. Uh, as compared to uh, pharma and uh, specialized subcontractors and um, med tech and uh, diagnostics. We see that uh, it's a little bit up and down, but, um, but uh, health ICT has a steady rise all the way through. And uh, uh, although it has uh, slowed down a little bit uh, lately. So, uh, um, if we look at um, the industry as a whole during this period that we looked at, 2005 to 2015, and then estimates for 16 and 17, we see um, a kind of a takeoff uh, from 2015. Something happened here with steeper growth than in the previous years. Uh, and we find this interesting. Um, and indicating perhaps a larger potential, larger growth for the next few years. Um, we have seen several signs that I will come back to, which indicates that this, this growth might continue. <coughs> uh, one indication is that we ask uh, the companies in a large survey that we sent out to all uh, uh, companies in, uh, in Norway within this uh, field, um, more than uh, a uh, thousand companies, um, which uh, is, uh, they answer that uh, they expect uh, uh, um, even better operating profits uh, in 2017 than in, um, in 16. So um, um, there is an optimism still in the industry. If you look at the, the pipeline or the investments in, uh, in, in growth uh, as defined as, um, or as uh, research development and innovation, um, uh, and export, uh, we find that um, uh, health industry and the health sector completely dominates R&D in, in Norway. Even though we have large sectors in the economy, constituting a much larger part of, uh, of the value added, like oil and gas, health is still the, the very largest part of all R&D investments in, in Norway. But of course, then driven by the public parts of uh, the, um, uh, the, the public side of the, uh, of the health industry or the health sector. Um, but still, um, the health business is also uh, uh, investing a lot in R&D, more than uh, 2.25 billion in 2016. <coughs> we've, uh, we've uh, put these figures uh, together with uh, different databases from Norwegian Research Council and, uh, and from uh, another database, uh, Skattepun, and um, 
uh, this should pretty much constitute uh, all the R&D within the private sector in health. What is really interesting about this uh, industry is its uh, ambitions uh, in terms of uh, internationalization. Uh, a lot of the companies are uh, has an amb have an ambition to become a leading global player, actually, from almost from day one. So it's a very ambitious uh, industry, um, and um, it's an industry that already has a substantial export from Norway, 21.5 billion Norwegian krona, even though that is to a large extent driven by traditional, say, traditional uh, export industries within health business, such as uh, diagnostics with, uh, with, uh, with uh, GE and, um, um, uh, and, pr and products that, would, that, have, that was developed uh, uh, 30 years ago, <coughs> which is a large part of the, of the export, just as it is in the other Nordic countries with uh, large companies such as AstraZeneca and, uh, and Novo Nordic. Novo Nordisk in, uh, in Denmark, uh, constituting the largest part of the, the export and the industry. <coughs> so what we see is that uh, for the new companies, the small companies, uh, which represents the largest part of this uh, population of, uh, of uh, businesses that, uh, that are included in this survey, in this uh, study, they are, as I mentioned, very ambitious and um, and they are born globals. Um, they want to go global from day one. And, um, uh, uh, and we see that um, um, they also actually have revenue, uh, international revenue, export revenue, uh, from even from, from the very startup. Not all of them, but, but many of them which is different from most other industries that we have in Norway, at least. So it's a very internationally oriented business. As I mentioned, um, risk capital is perceived as perhaps the largest bottleneck for development of the, of the industry. So when we ask these uh, companies, they uh, ask several questions about bottlenecks. Uh, what, we see is, what we see is that access to capital um, for various purposes for um, prototyping, etc., cetera, is, um, is the number one issue. Um, also, uh, to see distribution and marketing channels uh, to, for export is, uh, is a bottleneck, um, but capital is a major issue, and so I, I, I guess that is a uh, that is something that um, you focus on uh, here today as well and uh, throughout this uh, conference. Uh, I think it's a very important issue to resolve in order to get growth um, for the industry. Okay, um, at the end, I would like to have a quick look at the, the, the Nordic um, health industry and um, some perspectives on that. As I mentioned, um, the Nordic uh, health industry is uh, obviously um, still is, um, is well, well, there are differences between the countries. Norway is perhaps the, the country with, with, the, with the least, um, where the health industry is less important in the, in the economy, um, while less countries like Sweden and Denmark uh, already have a substantial uh, pharmaceutical industry, which is challenging now these days. Uh, and there, there are very important efforts from, uh, from, uh, from gov government level all the way to the top in order to secure better framework uh, conditions for, uh, for, for these industries uh, in Sweden and Denmark. But Finland uh, has a very substantial medtech uh, industry with, um, with large ex exports uh, within, uh, within medtech. It's a very impressive, I, I would say, and uh, interesting development. Iceland. Um, uh, has perhaps not been able to uh, to uh, leverage its opportunities based on uh, on uh, um, on um, databases that has been developed over a long period of time. Uh, 
uh, based on uh, on uh, gene mapping, etc. Uh, but there is uh, quite a lot of export to the U.S. from from Iceland. So what we've done is that we tried to uh, put together a population of uh, businesses, just pretty much in the same uh, way as in Norway, for the for the whole of the Nordics. Um, this is a project that is going on now with, that we're doing uh, together with the Nordic Innovation. And, uh, <coughs> uh, what we've done is to put together a company database. We've done interviews in all the Nordic countries, put together an online survey that we put out to uh, several thousand companies and, and done a literature, literature review to, to see uh, what the literature is telling us about uh, the main strongholds, uh, the competitive advantages of the Nordi Nordic uh, countries uh, in an international context when it comes to health industry. Uh, we have not included big pharma in this, uh, in this uh, study, uh, but well, uh, these industries are, are uh, um, sort of, the differences between them are not so clear uh, uh, longer with the di digitization driving the, the whole industry, so it's not all that clear cut, even though, well, the big pharma companies are not. Um, Included. So what we try to do is to to, um, to 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 create some main categories of uh, of export oriented uh, health industry um, from the Nordic countries, from all of the Nordic countries. Uh, we looked at personalized care, uh, personalized personalized health, um, uh, smart digital solutions, health ICT, and welfare technology. And we see that in the, in the population of uh, companies that we put together, a few thousand companies, uh, uh, most of them uh, rate themselves as, as companies within uh, smart digital solutions. Um. <coughs> um, then we try to find out, okay, so what's the... What, what are the main strengths of the Nordic, uh, Nordic com countries when it comes to developing health industry, uh, especially for export? Uh, we asked several questions about this, and uh, as we see here, uh, the top sort of core qualities of, uh, of, the, of the Nordic uh, health uh, sector uh, supporting the Nordic health industry is um, uh, the health uh, system itself um, with uh, uh, with the healthcare uh, being um, uh, provided for, for all of the population, and so it's a, sort of a, a system that um, is equitable. Uh, the Nordic healthcare system is char char characterized by high quality and knowledge, so that's it's an important uh, factor. While as um, the, the, the factors that uh, perhaps we would think would be most important for commercialization of the health industry, like public-private partnerships and stuff like that, is not rated as high. So uh, the whole institutional environment for commercialization, for, to promote innovation, is not rated as the, the main asset uh, as compared to other countries like the U.S., uh, etc., which is perhaps not a big surprise, but it's an important um, finding and I think an important starting point um, uh, for the Nordic countries to when building together a stronger environment for uh, health industry innovation. That's something need to do to be done in this area. Obviously, also the uh, the Nordic countries have uh, uh, populations with. Uh, early technology adapters, which is also perceived as, as, a, as, as a key strength. Mm. When we then look at the uh, export, the total export of, uh, of health industry uh, companies uh, from, from Nordics, we see that um, most of the export, or well, Europe is the largest export market for, uh, for Nordic uh, health industry companies almost 50%, um, with the United States as, uh, as the, the biggest country market, 30%. Um, and a bit surprising, um, as compared to other industries, the Nordics in itself, our neighbor countries, is not such a large export market. Um, many other industries, uh, we see that um, 
labor countries are, are more important for the export. Um, and also surprisingly, we see that um, uh, the relationship or the export between, for example, Finland and Norway is almost non-existent. Uh, so neighbor countries with almost no trade uh, between the countries. And it seems like there is a little, there's little understanding between companies and even governments as to um, how one could um, act as one uh, when promoting um, Nordic health industry uh, for export in, in new markets. But nevertheless, there are, um, there are more interesting markets in, in, uh, in Asia, uh, China, uh, growing fast uh, with some export already um, that needs to be targeted. And so uh, the overall conclu conclusion so far from this uh, study is that um, uh, um, most of the export goes to, to Europe, but uh, there is a future potential in terms of increasing export to the US and, and uh, to Asia and Middle East, uh, also to some extent to Africa. Um, very important is to reduce the trade barriers between the Nordic countries in order to become more of a one large home market with, uh, uh, with uh, 22 million uh, um, uh, consumers rather than the small Nordic countries. Um, and also to agree on a Nordic agenda for uh, exporting uh, health industry uh, where uh, uh, markets like China is approached with a more coordinated effort from, from the Nordic uh, countries. So this is uh, one of the important aims of this project, uh, is to try to, to, to get the Nordic countries together and uh, agree on an export agenda uh, in order to, to, uh, to act as one stronger player in a very competitive international market. Um, so, uh, what we see is also that um, um, the uh, policies in the different in in the in in, in Sweden and Denmark, um, uh, in terms of saving big pharma, uh, is perhaps not all that much targeted towards uh, the growth new growth companies within uh, medtech, for example, and the need to be more of a coherent policy as well. Uh, across the countries, uh, not to compete too much, too much uh, against each other, and not to stop the innovation from from new companies, but rather try to to look at uh, what's what what will be the future of uh, a health industry, with um, convergence between health ICT and pharma and the new markets like like uh, China, which uh, requires a totally different approach uh, than today. So um, um, that was actually uh, the quick uh, 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 go through of, uh, of the figures from, from the Norwegian health industry and uh, the Nordic perspective from, from my side as an introduction perhaps for the rest of the, of, of the, of the day. And I would be more than happy to, uh, to discuss with you uh, if you have any questions to the, to the figures and, uh, and uh, if you'd like to go more in details. Uh, uh, this is a report, uh, the first report about Norwegian uh, health industry is a public report that you will easily find on uh, um, Menon, Menon's um, website and also uh, uh, the websites of the 13 sponsors including Norwegian Confederation of Business and Industry and uh, um, the uh, report uh, to the Nordic Innovation uh, will be published in, uh, in, in August. So, uh, so, um, there are plenty of figures there as well that have not gone through here now, and not or not to to bore you too much with uh, with figures, but rather get to the interesting stories that uh, that we'll uh, soon hear from uh, innovation in practice. And um, so I think with that I will uh, just uh, leave the floor to the next uh, speaker. If